X Men Wolverine. Uh -huh. where he's like, he's got the the claws that come out is. Knuckles. Ah, and except just, you've got Glen Cairn glasses. Except I've Glen Cairns. <laughs> That's what you need for uh, the next whiskey festival. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just pour them in my just pour them in my knuckles. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Jen. And I'm Kerry. Welcome to our channel. We are Whiskey Geeks. Not Whiskey Snobs. So if you like all things whiskey and you're not a snob, subscribe! <laughs> and we're just back from the Isle of Mull. Can you tell? Yeah. October Mori. Uh, we're all kitted out and we're all kitted out with some whiskies. Oh yes. Um, so hopefully this will be coming out after the video that we did when we were in Tobermory. <laughs> <laughs> um, but when we were there, Lynn very kindly gave us a sample that we wanted to do a wee comparison mm. with. So probably lots of people watching this will know how much I loved the old Tobermory 10 year old. Mm. Um, and not many other people did, I have to say. <laughs> um, Rachel doesn't like it, which is why I've got Kerry here instead. <laughs> <laughs> she said quite clearly, keep it to myself. Um, sure, but you're intrigued. It. I am intrigued, yes. Um, so it's Worriedly. Worriedly. <laughs> but I'm also intrigued. <laughs> so we were, yeah, we were doing the tasting with Lynn and I was talking about the 10 year old, which I loved. And the new 12 year old is lovely, but I don't think it's quite as distinctive as the old 10 year old. And he said that they've done a re-bottling of the old 10 year old. Uh -huh. And so he gave us a sample of it so that we could try it alongside the old 10 year old. Wow. So I bought this bottle, I don't know, probably like four years ago okay. and I haven't opened it um, so that it was safe in there if I ever wanted to go back <laughs> to it. But now I've decided it's time to crack it open. Excellent. Um, so we'll do a little comparison. Oh, I'm excited. So do you want to pour a little bit of the new 10? New 10. First of all. Okay. So I think as far as I could tell that was a limited edition he said. All in bourbon casks, same as the old 10 year old. <gasps> this is like opening a time capsule, this, because it doesn't even have the same branding anymore. <gasps> this feels like a, the end of an era to open this. But there'll always be more whiskey. Always. Always more whiskey to try. There's no point in keeping it in a bottle. Oh, there look, to be it brings back memories. Ah, uh, <gasps> so shiny. I'm really opening it. Oh, I'm really opening it. <gasps> That's what it's for, it's for drinking. That would have been a laugh if the cork had burst, wouldn't it? <laughs> no, it would have been unfortunate. It's a wee bit. You've poured a little bit I've of those. I've got the new. And I'll pour a little bit of each of these. Sorry, I couldn't decide which glass to go for first. Sorry, that is going down your elbow. <gasps> waste! <laughs> the waste! I know, but whiskey you can't get anymore! Sorry, it's alcohol. I'll just clean my hands a bit. Yeah. Do right, so I've got old in my left hand, I new in my right hand. Old in my left and new in my right. Right. Snapsies. So shall we shall we sniff them first? Okay. Oh my god, that's Tober Mori as I remember it. Oh different for a start. Very different. Which do you think you like best so far? I'm getting more from the old. The old's got it's more complex. Mm -hmm. I was going to say the old is salty, caramel. I'm going to say floorboards. Just to be predictable. Woody. <laughs> Woody. Mm -hmm. It's got that. It feels. It feels there's a depth in there that I'm not getting from the newer one. This one smells brighter. Brighter and, and bananas. I get bananas. Pretty. Yeah. 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 <laughs> And this one is it's got more of a depth but it's also got more high up. It's got more layers, more yeah. heights of layers. I was gonna say, because when you say high up, I think like bright and light. Yeah. And I don't feel like it's bright and light. I feel like it's got you get quite, more of the quite, woodiness. It's, it, yeah, it feels more like it's deep and I think it's got a wee sharp warm. Term, a wee sharp oh warm. Like warmy. Like winter oh. like the, the winter and the summer kind of yeah, I get that. I get that. That's more. Yeah, this is more rounded. This is the old one is more sharp, mm -hmm. but fuller. The new one has less to it, but it's rounder. 
Yes. Definitely bananas. For me bananas. Chocolate maybe as well? I'm not getting the banana. This is like a salty sherbet, the old one. It definitely feels like salted caramel. Salted caramel with a bit of like popping candy or something mm. sherbet-y. They're quite different. I don't know why I was expecting them to be almost it's identical. The colour in them. Yeah, the colour is deeper on the new one as well, isn't it? Yeah. Right, shall we shall we taste? Which are we tasting first? The old. old. Taste old, old first. <gasps> oh! It's salty mm. sweet. It's so salty, isn't it? Really nice. Quite woody. Mm -hmm. I do love a floorboard. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and definitely like, it's kind of all edges with no middle. Do you know what I mean? It's all around the sides. Not necessarily even there. in my mouth, just it's like, it's taste wise. It's got lots of like, spiky bits around the edge. Mm -hmm. And sharp bits around the edge, but it's not got all that much in the middle. No, oh, I get what you mean. Yes. Mm. Shall we quickly taste or are you doing another? Mm. Seeing if I can get it mm. down the middle. I think it'll be a bit candy flossy. There is that kind of sweet sugary note mm -hmm. on it. Mm -hmm. I'll maybe not eat my hair though. But definitely with salt. There, salt. Salty salt caramel. on the finish as well. It is. It like is. a really salty caramel. Uh-huh. Like overly salted caramel. Mm. But in a good way. Oh, it's absolutely. kind of like that salted fudge we had when we were over actually. Uh-huh. I found a piece of that in my bag. <laughs> Loose in my bag, not go back. Can you guess what I did with it? Did you eat it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> of course you ate it. It was food. It was. It, it was, was in your bag, it was safe. Yeah, it was only in my bag. Goodness knows what else has been in my bag, mind you. Should we try this, the new one now? Mm. So we did try that when we were there, but we were not comparing it with this and it was in among other mm. ones we were trying, so. Mmm. Much softer. Much, much softer. Sweeter, marshmallowy. I was about to say marshmallows, mm -hmm. you just got that hit of marshmallow there. I was like, it's got that soft, really soft, mm. really marshmallowy. There is a light saltiness to this as well, but it's not. Well, I remember when we tried this at the distillery and it had that. I don't know if I'm after the saltiness of this. It's kind of lost in this one. I'm not really getting the salt. It's not got that much of a finish, this one. It's got quite a, it's got like a warm, tingly finish. Mm. It's really citrus note in there, I think. Mm, yeah, yeah. Just like lemon juice. Yeah, just towards the end. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of sharp, sort of. It's not enough to be like a like an orange oil heat. It's like a wee lemony zing. Yeah, it's exactly a lemony. It's <laughs> <laughs> a wee lemon popping up so. That's it. <laughs> Do you have a preference? I think I prefer the old one. Me too. But then I always loved it and I don't know if I'm, I don't know if I've influenced you with my thoughts and I don't know if. No. I don't know if I was like building up, I mean, you know sometimes when you build one up in your head and when you go back to it you're kind of disappointed it's not what you remember. That's even I, better see, than I, I remember. I like the 12 year old. You know I like the 12. And I actually am just thinking how this would compare to the 12. Well we got it there if you want to. Do you think we should? Just, just, I think that'd just, be just a good idea. Just, like, yeah. Let's do a, a third. Right, excuse us a second while I climb. <laughs> I could have got that. There we go. Right, so there's the... Right, so we've got... There's the old ten. <gasps> the old ten. The new ten. Put stickers on the glasses. Just hold them in. There in order. Go. There right. we go, have you got them in order there? Old ten. Old 10, new 10, 12. Oh. The new, the 12 is much richer. Much, much, much richer. richer. I did think that that had some sherry cask in it when it first came out because oh, it's I so sweet that. and rich, but it's not. No, it's all bourbon. Which I, 
have recently discovered that it's not sherry casks that I like at all, it is bourbon mm. casks. I like them all. Well, I don't dislike sherry casks, but I seem to be. I seem you to were focusing on that for a while as if that was, I oh, thought, it's a sherry cask, that's what I'm going to yeah, like, I, but actually, you like I'm the bourbon just, as well. Yeah, I think. That's more leathery. I'm just not getting as. <sighs> it's not got as much as the old 10. There's. You know, you oh, can so smell that before your nose is over the glass. That, Whereas that this old one you have to like, You need to like put your nose in. That reminds me of like being in pubs when I first was drinking whiskey, when I first discovered I liked whiskey and stuff. So that's, that's like, maybe like, why I like it better. Like it's maybe more nostalgic. It does for me. have that sort of pubby yeah, whiskey yeah, smell. Yeah, yeah, uh -huh. But not in a bad way. Not in a bad way, yep. Well mm. verdict out of the three. I think I still prefer the twelve. You still overall. prefer the twelve. But again, I think that's because that was the first one I tried and yeah. liked. I think out of the the old and versus the new, I think I prefer the old ten because the old ten is very close to the twelve, but mm. still different enough yeah. to be a complete. You know, you, you couldn't substitute the two. You couldn't. No, I think quite a lot of people have made that quite clear. <laughs> Rachel being one of them. Yeah, yeah, loads of people. <laughs> loads of people don't like uh, I mean, Manky Seawater, it was described as. The 10. It is seawatery, but I love it. I've never drank Manky Seawater. I have, only by accident, though. Well, I don't by a wave. <laughs> it's one that you do that deliberately. I'm still saying the 10 is my favourite. I'm, I'm going to finish by finishing the, the original 10. Oh, I've got a hairdress with all the <laughs> sniffing, though. <laughs> Shall we cheers to the old to ten, the ten and send it on its way? I look forward to sharing that rest of that bottle with you. Yeah, perfect. Cheers. Cheers. Slange, thank Bye. you for joining us and come back next time. I think we're going to have Rachel back mm -hmm. for a try of three different lechics that we picked up at the distillery as well. Mm -hmm. So join yeah, us for that. You, you, you can have your lechics. I'm, You're I, not I, as I, I that wish. To share. I wish. You'll get there. I will. We'll keep working on you. Yeah. We'll keep working on you. Thank you for joining us. We hope you enjoyed our video. If you did, please give it a like and a subscribe. And you can follow us on social media at The Grail Tastings. See you next time. Slange. Like, um, like savoury, like almost kind of marmite. Which one? The 12. <laughs> There's too many. There's too many. We've got too, too many, many drams. <laughs> Total first world problems. I here. know. <laughs> too many drams.